But that's all ignore the fact that I kind of look like a Slender right now. This is the closest I can get to making my avatar look like Anne Boleyn on a budget. Don't lose your head! Hello beautiful gremlins, welcome to this very insane video in which I am now in Roblox. That's right, I'm going into my Roblox YouTuber era. Please pray for me. So I've been seeing this thing a lot of like Roblox artist things where basically they go out and draw other people's avatars and I thought, hey, I would like to do something like that. The problem is I am not a Roblox YouTuber and also I am way too self-conscious to go and ask people if I can draw them in game. And thirdly, robots avatars are very, very, very hard to draw because they are so detailed and eccentric in some ways. So instead, I thought I would go into a Roblox spray painting game and draw one thing that I exactly know how to draw. Book characters! Specifically one from Keeper of the Lost Cities because that is my current hyperfixation. Thank you. Now, obviously, a Roblox spray painting game is going to be very different from a normal drawing on Procreate or something. So I decided to get well versed in this game by just doing some little test drawings. Like these, these, this, this, and this. Obviously, I'm trying my hardest to make sure everything goes right in here, and I am hoping that I will actually be able to draw these characters, and I actually kind of hope that people might recognize them. However, I do want to go to a, some enclosed area where people cannot see me that much because I don't want people to, well, scribble on my art. <laughs> That's the problem with uh, games like this. People really love to basically ruin your artwork for no reason. I do hope all of you will support me as I go through my Roblox YouTuber art. Don't worry guys, it's gonna be great. Whoa! That's the thing I love about this game. Like, look at this! Oh my gosh! It's- Oh my gosh! Oh! This is amazing. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. I ah! See, that's the thing I love about this game. The most fun I have in this game is actually not even drawing. It's just going around looking at other people's drawings. Because they're just so cool. I mean, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> there is a person with 219 lights on this server. And I feel very intimidated. So I'm dancing through the pain. Okay, but on a serious note, this is actually where I want to draw the Keeper characters. Now, I have no idea who I'm going to start with. Like, I guess I'll start with, like, some random character. I really don't know. Uh, it's going to be so random drawing this guy. I mean, come on. It's... One random thing I like about this game is that, like, you can have a camera so you don't have to focus on your Roblox avatar to draw. You can just kind of do this. <laughs> anyway, let us begin. By the way, I'm drawing fits. I don't know if you guys realize that, but I am. By the way, I don't know if anyone cares, but I have this cute little thing on this game called a duck spray can. I've seen other people with like boba tea and stuff, but I have my duck and I'm happy with my duck. Okay, let's begin for real this time. Please just ignore this sketch altogether. <laughs> um, it's not good. It's not good at all. I don't like it. I want it to be erased from memory. <laughs> I did start over with a sketch and I feel like I was just putting a lot of pressure on myself to be good and I feel like a lot of things suffered for that. So just bear with me here. I think I needed to like loosen up my wrist and not only that but loosen up my head too <laughs> because I was stressed. Congratulations to me. I'm gonna start over. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm not happy with how this is turning out. I think I need to get back into the groove of drawing and make sure and make sure I'm not gonna like go insane or cry or something. I do feel like this sketch went a lot better. However, it's still not good. In fact, none of the sketches in this video are good until the last one, I believe. I was so stressed out during this and I think it was kind of because I, it was the first time filming and I just didn't know what to do and I probably shouldn't have started with Fitz because I wanted him to be good. Uh, if you want a real reaction out of me. Oh my god. 
Yeah, that was my genuine thought process throughout the entire thing. <laughs> Real life recorded audio right there. And it was just for some reason, I don't know why it was so just stressful for me. I feel like I was put putting way too much pressure on myself during this entire thing. And I wanted everything to be good and go perfectly. And when it didn't, I kind of freaked out. So I apologize for this video in its entirety. So, uh, the hair I cannot get, like, draw up for some reason. I cannot draw up here. So he's going to have his little hair clipped. I'm sorry, my boy. Just, it is the way it is sometimes. This is the daily grind. <laughs> I am kind of feeling insecure for some reason about this. I, I don't know why. I guess this is because this is like the first time I've actually like drawn on this like for a video or something and I'm just a little out of it. Um, wish me luck. You can kind of hear how tired I'm getting from the first part of this video. Um, sorry about that. I'll try harder next time, I guess. Um, I like my drawings like really differently like, on this for some reason so I hope you enjoy this because it's gonna be a little different from like how I render stuff on my like, procreate or something so again I don't know why I'm so nervous or awkward I apologize profusely for it and I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me or something See, you can hear it in my voice. I'm kind of hitting art block in real time in this for some reason. However, something did happen, and it will blow your minds. Not really, but it was nice. Oh, someone wrote hi. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Oh gosh. Oh, she said she liked my drawing. That's the thing I also like about this game and like drawing on Roblox is that people just like compliment you. Like you don't know if someone's going to come up to you, if they're going to scribble or compliment you or say you suck or something. So when people come up and actually compliment you, it makes me feel very good inside. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm surprised I have not broken my iPad screen with how much I pressed down so hard while doing line art on this Roblox spray painting game. For some reason, I want me to have aesthetic line art in it, and it's just not good. Like, I constantly, I don't need to press so hard, but I do, and I don't know why. Also, I apologize for the raw audio in this. I am not reading from a script. I'm just saying how it is and just watching the process go by. Oh my gosh. Also, those eyes, I am about to, like, kill them. Like, I could not get them right to save my life. And I wish this game had a feature where you could copy and paste the eyes and then flip it. Because that would have made the entire process way easier. But no. No, it did not. So, I was struggling very, very hard, as you can see. I can't get the eyes right so i'm just gonna move on don't judge me that hard in this video because obviously it's roblox and you're not gonna have like the same things you have in like Pro procreate to make anything and like and i do miss some of the things i could get i'm not exactly gonna switch my entire program to roblox speed paint or whatever <laughs> Reiterate, re 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 say again with that statement, no, I will not be switching to Roblox spray paint, obviously, because it's not a program. It's just like a funny thing, a fun thing to do in Roblox when you're wasting time. But it is fun to just go around and draw. So also we got as a visitor. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Hi. Hi, how, how, what the heck? What? 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 <laughs> um, oh, what? Oh, 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 scribbling. Oh, okay, okay. There. <laughs> uh, at least, 
a fun feature in this in this game is that you can actually oh he just left a fun feature in this game is that you can actually hide people's drawings so even if you do get scribbled on you can just hide them for the sake of hiding them so thank goodness <laughs> scribblers are the worst in this game it's like why would you want to ruin someone's hard work that they're pouring their heart and soul into just for laughs all right mine art's done it looks terrible but <laughs> I'm gonna try my hardest here. I guess you can tell I kind of wasn't into it at this point, so I was just trying to get through it, basically. I tried to make the colors match up with my hair designs as best as possible, but obviously I couldn't get it exact, and that it's definitely shown with this one. It is weird to draw on this, basically. <laughs> I wish I could bring colors in, but I can't. It's impossible, so... Oh, there's more people here. Oh. <laughs> Hi, how are y'all? Please do not scribble. I'm tired. I was, in fact, very tired, but they did not care. They scribbled. Oh, they are, they are scribbling. Okay. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I honestly have no earthly idea why I was so stressed making this drawing and put so much pressure on myself to be good and be perfect at this because I don't think anyone cares. No one asked for this video, no one's probably going to watch this video, and I swear to all I hold dear, I don't know why I wanted it to be perfect and lovely and happy. I don't know why I went into this video with that headspace and it's discouraging to rewatch all this footage and just hearing my voice get progressively more tired and not downtrodden, a different word, depressed I guess throughout this entire thing. I don't know why pressure was just pounding down on me. I don't know why I allowed it. And there we go. <laughs> This is the drawing. I'm gonna take a break and then draw the next character, but here's- here's Fitz. I do not like this drawing at all, so... I apologize to your eyes for witnessing such atrocities. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> and upon coming back, I do realize that this drawing of Fitz is actually very terrible, and I feel really bad for my son. <laughs> As... I don't exactly want him to be looking like a bobblehead. I think the problem is really the fact that I seriously give him high-waisted pants every time I draw him. And it kind of looks weird from this angle. Uh, but anyway, what's done is done and now I have to draw the others. I'm only going to draw three in this video, obviously. And if you can guess who the second one is going to be, I'll give you like, I don't know, a star sticker or something. You guessed it, it's Keith. Okay, <laughs> let's get started with that one. And I will say that I had a very good break, and I do hope that people realize the importance of breaks in art, because I I did not take one, and I suffered for it. So, let's begin. I have no idea why, but I started feeling very, very lonely while making this drawing, and I feel like that is, gets more apparent as time goes on. So, you guys like... Anime? I don't. I like Pokemon. Does that count? Yeah, it's pretty sad. Ignore me. <laughs> I just realized that I accidentally started drawing bits again. So, I guess I just kind of wanted to redeem myself. But no, this is Keith. I, I need to move on with my life. I'll, I'll draw bits later. Just apologize. <laughs> and I did! Now, the entire thing with this drawing was that I was going to stop putting pressure on myself and actually make something good and decent. However, ironically, it made me put more pressure on myself, and I don't like this drawing either, which is a problem. <laughs> I just made the mistake of accidentally drawing all those things on the first layer instead of the second. So now Keith is basically just disconnected. Great. That's just lovely for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I started going through the same stages as I did with the Fitz drawing. Sadly. <laughs> and you hear me get more depressed. On surface level, that actually looks like a really cool and dynamic pose. I really do not think this drawing is the worst thing in the world, but something about it just seems so off. And I did not like drawing this drawing because I was putting so much pressure on myself. I felt so horrible making it and looking at it. While it does look better than the Fitz drawing, I'm still just like so depressed looking at it because I feel like I didn't do good enough and I should have done better. And I don't really get out of that headspace until the third drawing and I feel like you'll see why I did. And it was just rough, like really rough. And I don't know why I was being such a prick to myself. Okay, this isn't the best drawing in the world, but I like it. Nice! And that's really all that matters. I, I feel like it was a little bit of a mistake to draw on this angled thing because that obviously means there's gonna be some, well, there's gonna be a little bit of jaggedness and weirdness if you actually look at the pose, but I'm, I, I'm fine with how it turned out. It's obviously better than the Fitz one and that's honestly what I was going for. However, I do realize that it's way smaller than the Fitz one. <laughs> I am picking favorite children and we all know it. <laughs> However, I will say that I think I was putting way too much pressure on myself to be good when I did the Fitz one. And I decided to just let go and draw with this one and I think I'm happy about that. So let's continue. Okay, I've joined a different server because the one I was at didn't speak English and I felt really bad for being an English speaker in there. <laughs> so, welcome back. Time to begin again. Dang, I was such a liar trying to pretend everything was okay. My gosh. <laughs> I did actually change servers because everyone was speaking Spanish. I felt really bad for being the only English speaker. I don't know why, I felt like I was intruding on something, I guess. Anyway, continuing with my breakdown. It's strange, it's strange how I'm in my little cocoon here and I just see like, all the colors and chaos happening outside. <laughs> Makes me realize I'm not really contributing much to the conversation, I'm just here vibing. <laughs> oh goodness, oh gosh. <laughs> We then got an unexpected visitor. Oh, oh, Joe Mama, Joe Mama, no! <laughs> oh my gosh, oh no, oh no. Love the name though, love the name. Oh, oh, he drew a heart. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh. I only drew a heart for that one, not, not, not this one. I understand that. It's not good, but I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> Sadly, I am going to have to hide this heart, even though I love it. <laughs> Strange how much self-loathing I was going through with this drawing, but Joe Mama drew a heart over it. I think I'm going to take another break after this drawing so I can draw the third one because this is getting rough. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, hello, person. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh no, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was so tired and ready to be done with this drawing, so I ended up getting really messy and I apologize for it. And we're done with that one. <laughs> oh, hey. I do like it better than the Fitz one. I feel like it turned out better than the Fitz one. But, um, I, st I got really messy with it. I'm so tired. I think I'm going to take another break. <laughs> and I, I do hope that you guys like it. And I do hope that you appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go take a break now. For the next drawing, I decided to not have any live commentary going on whilst doing it. I want to try and make sure that I had that pressure thrown out of the window of like wanting to talk or knowing people were watching me. I knew I was screen recording the entire thing, however I was trying not to think about it that much 
And not talking and having a microphone on my thing and checking to see if the audio was going on really helped me get into the space of just drawing. And I'm really happy about that because this is my favorite drawing of the entire video. I'm guessing it's because it's the last one, but I do feel like it is way better than the other two and I can see how much I was putting pressure on myself with the other two. Meanwhile, with this one, you can kind of tell I'm just drawing to draw and that's really nice to see from me. So that's probably why I like it that much. By the way, I don't think I said who I was drawing. I'm drawing Bianna, or Bianna. I forgot how to pronounce her name. I said Bianna. And, well, it isn't how I usually draw her, and I definitely kind of messed up with the colors. I do love this drawing. I love it so much. I think she's adorable. I think I did really well with it. And while I can see flaws and things I could have done better, and just random stuff. I feel like it's kind of poetic that I did Bianna, who crawled out from the ground after her traumatic experience and like and now showing off her scars for everyone to see. I do love her. I, she's an inspiration to me. <laughs> and I'm trying to like say that it's fully symbolism, but it's really not. I mean, I, would, I just drew her to draw her because I like her. And that's really it. I just... I'm happy with this drawing. I love saying that. I'm happy with this drawing. <laughs> After so much self-loathing with the other two, it's just good that I finally have a drawing that I like that I created this video. It's really strange to look at all the other the other two and see how much just like I was putting pressure on myself. And I think this entire endeavor from a random Roblox spray painting game has really been a wake up call for me to stop putting pressure on myself and actually just be myself for once. So I'm really happy about that. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it's very different from the content that I usually post. I tried to tie it in with the content I usually post, but it's just kind of all over the place. And I hope you like it, I hope you like the drawings, and I want to just reiterate again, said it right this time, reiterate that do not put pressure on yourself when drawing because it makes everything worse. Just go draw and be happy and do something that makes you happy right now. I, I, I will pause this video and go do something that makes you happy, gosh dang it. <laughs> Anyway, if something that makes you happy is watching another video, then the video on your screen right now is something that YouTube thinks you might like, so go and check it out if you want to. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and God bless.